pissing me off too, but we don't engage unless we have to. Okay? So, what do the courts look for to back up this little formula I gave you up top? Well, first of all, in any establishment, they're going to look for inadequate lighting. Okay? If there's inadequate lighting, people can get hurt, crimes can go down. Um, if you're talking about a regular, let's say you are the director of security for a facility, manufacturing plant, okay? And a lady gets mugged in the parking lot as she's going home for the day. And she thinks it's your fault. Well, she goes to an attorney, the attorney looks, and they say, you know what? There's no lighting in this parking lot. And it's a very large parking lot. And she has to walk across a little, like, a path. So she was all alone. The company should have known about it. Yeah, they're going to say that there's some negligence there. Okay, the company didn't commit any crime. They certainly didn't want her to get hurt, but there's some negligence. So they look at that. If you're in a bar situation, okay, there's always going to be inadequate lighting, but there has to be certain lighting requirements that are met near uh, the exits, okay, near ATMs, okay, on way on the way to restrooms, okay. Is there adequate lighting where there are cameras installed? So they're going to be looking at things like that. Okay. They're going to, next, they're going to go for untrained staff. And the reason why I put these two things first is because most of the awards that I have seen, and I look up this, I mean, this is part of my job, right? Lighting and untrained staff are where the attorneys are always winning. They know it's almost, it's, it's easy for them to get an award, especially the bigger the uh, the person that's being sued, okay? If they go after an agency or a company with deep pockets, boom, they hit these two things, lighting and untrained staff, and it's, it's uh, or how about trained staff, but there's no training documentation to prove that they were trained. Remember, if it didn't get written down, it didn't happen, all right? So, untrained staff. How about previous attacks or complaints? If we go back to that facility, uh, security situation in the manufacturing plant were there previous complaints of weird people hanging around the parking lots had somebody been attacked before okay that's gonna uh definitely definitely hurt you uh if you go back to the bar owner situation um again were there previous attacks were there complaints um have there been fights and security wasn't uh, adjusted to to that situation they're going to look at the previous situation. They're going to look at serious crime in the area. Okay. If you are the head of security for a restaurant, a bar, a, a nightclub, or a facility that manufactures a certain product, it is your job to know where you are at, conduct a serious evaluation. Uh, and actually, it's coming up here next. Is a, we're going to talk about the threat survey or the uh, security surveys. It's your job to